This duragesic patch, transdermal 72 hours is used to help relieve severe ongoing pain, such as due to cancer. It belongs to a class of drugs known as opioid analgesics, and it works in the brain to change how your body feels and responds to pain. It is important not to use the patch form of fentanyl to relieve mild pain or pain that will go away in a few days. This medication is not for occasional, as needed, use. The recommended daily dosage and optimal timing for using this patch should be determined by your doctor. Before you start using this medication, make sure to read the medication guide and the instructions for use provided by your pharmacist. Learn how to properly use, store, and discard the patches. If you have any questions, ask your doctor or pharmacist. Use this medication on a regular schedule as directed by your doctor, not as needed for sudden, breakthrough, pain. It may take up to 24 hours before you have pain relief from fentanyl patches. Other pain relievers may also be prescribed. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about using fentanyl safely with other drugs. Apply this medication to the skin as directed by your doctor. Do not apply on burns, cuts, irritated skin, or skin that has been exposed to radiation. Select a dry, non-hairy area on a flat part of your body. If there is hair on the skin, use scissors to clip the hair as close as possible to the skin. Do not shave hair since this might cause skin irritation. If needed, use water to clean the area. Do not use soap, oils, lotions, or alcohol on the application site. Dry the skin well before applying the patch. The patch is usually changed every 72 hours. Be sure to remove the old patch before applying a new patch. The used patch still contains enough fentanyl to cause serious harm, even kill a child or pet, so fold it in half with the sticky sides together and discard properly. Do not let children see you apply a patch, and do not apply the patch where children can see it. Do not use the patch if it appears to be broken, cut, or damaged. Remove from the sealed pouch, peel off the protective liner, and apply right away to the skin. Press firmly in place with the palm of the hand for 30 seconds, making sure the contact is complete. If your prescribed dose is for more than one patch, make sure the edges of the patches do not touch or overlap. Wash your hands after applying the patch. If the patch falls off before 72 hours, a new patch may be applied to a different skin site. Be sure to let your doctor know if this happens. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. Do not apply more patches than directed, change them more often, or use them for a longer time than prescribed. Suddenly stopping this medication may cause withdrawal. Tell your doctor or pharmacist right away if you have any withdrawal symptoms. When this medication is used for a long time, it may not work as well. Talk with your doctor if this medication stops working well. This medication may sometimes cause addiction. Use this medication exactly as prescribed to lower the risk of addiction. Ask your doctor or pharmacist for more details. Tell your doctor if your pain does not get better or if it gets worse. Some common side effects of the duragesic patch, transdermal 72 hours may include nausea, vomiting, constipation, lightheadedness, dizziness, drowsiness, headache, mild irritation, itching, or redness at the application site. It is important to eat dietary fiber, drink enough water, and exercise to prevent constipation. You may also need to take a laxative, so be sure to ask your pharmacist which type is right for you. To reduce the risk of dizziness and lightheadedness, make sure to get up slowly when rising from a sitting or lying position. Remember that this medication has been prescribed because the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects for many people. However, it is important to tell your doctor right away if you experience any serious side effects such as interrupted breathing during sleep, mental-slash-mood changes, severe stomach-slash-abdominal pain, difficulty urinating, slow-slash-fast-slash-pounding heartbeat, or signs of your adrenal glands and not working well. Seek medical help immediately if you experience fainting, seizure, slow-slash-shallow breathing, severe drowsiness-slash-difficulty waking up, or symptoms of serotonin syndrome-slash-toxicity. Although a very serious allergic reaction is rare, seek medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. Remember, if you are in the US, you can report side effects to the FDA, and in Canada, 
you can report side effects to Health Canada. Fentanyl, the active ingredient in Duragesic patch, has the potential for abuse and addiction, which can lead to overdose and death. It may also cause severe, possibly fatal, breathing problems. It's important to only use these transdermal patches if you have been regularly using moderate to large amounts of opioid pain medication, as using them otherwise may cause overdose, and even death. To reduce the risk, your doctor will prescribe the smallest effective dose of fentanyl and for the shortest possible time. Your doctor may also discuss having naloxone on hand to treat opioid overdose and will educate you and your family on the signs of an opioid overdose and how to treat it. There is a higher risk for severe breathing problems when starting this medication, after a dose increase, or if the wrong dose or strength is used. Using fentanyl with alcohol or other drugs that can cause drowsiness or breathing problems may lead to very serious side effects, including death. It is important to know how to use fentanyl and to be aware of other drugs that should be avoided while using it. It's crucial to follow the manufacturer's instructions for using fentanyl transdermal patches. They should only be used on the skin, and using them improperly or with elevated skin slash body temperature can cause fatal overdose. It is recommended to avoid raising your skin temperature at or near the application site by using heating pads, electric blankets, hot tubs, heat lamps, or tanning lamps. Taking hot baths and sunbathing should also be avoided, although bathing, showering, or swimming while wearing the patch is acceptable as long as hot water is avoided. Before using this medication, women of childbearing age should discuss the risks and benefits with their doctor. It should be used during pregnancy only when clearly needed, as it may slightly increase the risk of birth defects if used during the first two months of pregnancy. Using it for a long time or in high doses near the expected delivery date may also harm the unborn baby, and babies born to mothers who use this drug for a long time may develop severe withdrawal symptoms. It's important to keep this medication in a safe place to prevent theft, misuse, or abuse, and it is not recommended for use by children younger than two years. If someone accidentally swallows this drug, medical help should be sought immediately. Before using the Duragesic patch, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have, as well as your medical history. This medication may cause dizziness or drowsiness, so it's important to avoid alcohol and marijuana while using it. If you develop a fever, contact your doctor immediately as it may lead to an overdose. Before undergoing surgery or an MRI test, be sure to inform your healthcare providers about your use of this patch. It's also important to note that older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, consult your doctor before using this medication. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that may affect how Duragesic patch, transdermal 72 hours works in your body. Certain pain medications, naltrexone and samidorphan are some products that may interact with this drug. Also, medications like antifungals, HIV protease inhibitors, and certain antibiotics can affect the removal of fentanyl from your body, which may impact how it works. It's crucial to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Additionally, MAO inhibitors should be avoided during treatment with this medication, and the risk of serious side effects may increase if this medication is used with other products that may also cause drowsiness or breathing problems. Always check the labels on all your medicines and ask your pharmacist about using those products safely. Lastly, be mindful of other drugs that increase serotonin as they may increase the risk of serotonin syndrome slash toxicity when taken with this medication. And remember to inform lab personnel and all your doctors that you use this drug to avoid any interference with certain lab tests. If the Duragesic patch is chewed or swallowed, it can be harmful. If someone has overdosed, it's important to remove the patch if possible. For serious symptoms such as passing out or trouble breathing, naloxone can be given if available, and then call 911. If the person is awake and has no symptoms, it's important to call a poison control center right away. In the U.S., residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of overdose may include slow or shallow breathing, slow heartbeat, and coma. This medication is for use only on the skin. Do not apply to broken or damaged skin. Do not apply the patch on areas with a lot of hair or tight clothing. 
Do not use the patch if the seal is broken or if the patch is cut, damaged, or changed in any way. If any of these things occur, do not use that patch, and use a new one. If you accidentally leave the Duragesic patch on for more than 3 days, 72 hours, remove it and replace it with a new patch as soon as you remember. Do not use two patches to make up for the missed dose. When storing the Duragesic patch, make sure to keep it at room temperature and away from light and moisture. Do not freeze it or store it in the bathroom. Keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. Also, remember not to flush the patch down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. Properly dispose of the patch when it is expired or no longer needed, following the instructions in the How to Use section or consulting your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for more details. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.